Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we will discuss multiplying decimals. To multiply decimals, we will follow these two steps. Number one, multiply the numbers as whole numbers. So in these steps, we will remove the decimal points. Okay? And number two, count the number of decimal places para malaman natin kung ilang... Uh, Decimal places meron tayo doon sa ating final answer. Alright? So, let's proceed to our first example. We have here 2.6 times 0.3. So, ang first step natin is to multiply uh, these numbers as whole numbers. So, si 2.6, gagawin natin 26 times 0.3. So, that is 3. Tama? As whole numbers. So, multiply natin to 26 times 3. So, first step, dito tayo. 6 times 3, that is 18. So, 8, carry 1. And then, multiply natin 2 times 3. That is equal to 6 plus 1, that is 7. Okay, so the product of 26 times 3 is 78. Then after that, we will count the number of decimal places. So, balik tayo din sa ating given. So, count the decimal places. 1, 2. Okay? So, kung meron tayong 2 decimal places in total, i-adjust natin yung decimal point dito sa ating final answer. So, moving the decimal point twice. 1, 2. Okay, so therefore, uh, the product of 2.6 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.78. Final answer. Nakuha ba guys? So let's proceed to our second example. 7.13 times 0 0.02. Okay, so again, ang first step natin, multiply these numbers as whole numbers. So, 7.13, that is equivalent to 713 as whole number times 0 0.02, so that is 2. Tama? So, multiply these numbers, 713 times 2. So, starting tayo dito sa rightmost, 3 times 2, we have 6. 1 times 2 equals 2. And last, 7 times 2, that is equal to 14. Okay, then after that, we will count the number of decimal places. So, balik tayo din sa ating given. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4 uh, decimal places in total. Tama? So, i-adjust natin yung ating decimal point dito sa ating final answer 4 times. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, therefore, the product of 7.13 times 0 0.02 is equal to 0 0.1426. Final answer. Okay, so nakuha ba guys kung paano mag-multiply ng decimals? So, let's have another example. 8.2 times 3.5. So, multiply the numbers as whole numbers. We have 82 times 35. Okay, so try natin. 2 times 5, that is 10. Then, 5 times 8, we have 40. And then, plus 1, that is 41. Okay? So, next, 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. And 3 times 8, that is 24. Okay? And then, add natin to guys. So, bring down 0. 1 plus 6, that is 7. 
4 plus 4, that is 8. Then bring down 2. So count natin yung ating uh, total decimal places. 1, 2. So we have 2 decimal uh, places in total. So we will adjust the decimal point in our final answer. So try natin. 1, 2. So therefore, the final answer in 8.2 times 3.5 is equal to 28.7. Okay? Final answer. Nakuha ba? So for our last example, we have 21.5 times 6.13. So again, multiply natin yung 21.5 as whole number so that is 215 times 6.13 so that is 613 Tama? So try natin guys 5 times 3 that is 15 Carry 1 1 times 3 that is 3 plus 1 so 4 and last, 2 times 3, that is equals to 6. Right? Next, 5 times 1, 5. 1 times 1, 1. And 2 times 1, 2. Okay? Next, 5 times 6, that is 30. So, 0. Carry 3. 6 times 1, 6, plus 3, that is 9. And last 1, 2 times 6, that is 12. Okay? And then, add these numbers. So, bring down 5. 4 plus 5, that is 9. 6 plus 1, 7. 2 plus 9, that is 11. Then 1 plus 2, 3. Then bring down 1. Okay? And then, for our last step, count the number of decimal places. Okay? Balik tayo sa ating uh, original equation, uh, given. So, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 numbers of decimal places. So, i-adjust natin yung decimal point dun sa ating final answer. Okay? So, 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Nakuha ba? So, this will be our final answer. We have 131.795. Final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-multiply ng decimals. So, if, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them on the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!